to your battery life. That's why Apple introduced the new low power mode into iOS 9. Go to settings, scroll down to battery, and then as you can see, you have low power mode, which is gonna reduce the power consumption throughout your iPhone. Now, this will let you use your iPhone as normal, but it will limit certain unnecessary features such as Hey Siri and background app refresh. Now, you can tell that it's on low power mode by looking at the yellow icon in the battery area. Now, this is definitely very useful to reduce the amount of battery that you're using at any given time. If you want more battery for a complete guide on how to save your battery life. All right, let's continue with the next hidden feature. The third hidden feature we have fixes the all too common problem of a poor Wi-Fi connection. First, go to settings, then go to cellular, then scroll all the way down until you see Wi-Fi Assist. Now you're gonna wanna enable this feature because what this lets you do is subsidize your Wi-Fi settings with cellular as well. Now this means you're not just using Wi-Fi which could have poor loading speeds, but you're also not just using cellular which you have to pay money for. You're using a combination of both to get the best speeds possible at the lowest price possible. I definitely recommend enabling Wi-Fi Assist. Depending on your settings, it could already be enabled, but if it's not, I definitely recommend enabling it to get the best speeds without spending too much on cellular data. Now in iOS 9, you can quickly make calls or send messages to your contacts using the Spotlight Search. Either swipe right or swipe down and search their name in the Spotlight Search area. From there, you can access FaceTime, message, or even send them a phone call. As you can see, I can quickly send a message to one of my friends. With the new affordable tiered options, iCloud is becoming more and more of a trusted and great way to store your documents and photos in the cloud. But until this point, there's been no dedicated app to view those files, like Google Drive or Dropbox, which each have their own native applications. Well, that all changes with a hidden feature inside of iOS 9. To enable the iCloud Drive app, go to Settings, scroll down to iCloud, and then choose the iCloud Drive function. As you can see, you can now upgrade to iCloud Drive, hit a brand new Cloud Drive application with all of your documents in the native app form. This is a great hidden feature that a lot of people don't know about, but you should definitely take advantage of, especially since you get five gigabytes for free. We're gonna take a quick break to take a look at an amazing application that lets you get iTunes gift cards, PayPal cash, and even paid apps for free. Now, here's how to install it. You're gonna go down to your mobile Safari and then go to this exact URL in your browser bit.ly bit.ly slash get feature points that's bit.ly bit.ly slash get feature points that exact URL you're gonna be brought to a page like this now what feature points lets you do is download free applications collect points and then use those points to get paid apps iTunes gift cards and even PayPal cash absolutely free so click Start Earning Rewards, then click Continue. It should already have that code in there, 5LAE4E, if you typed in the URL correctly. If not, be sure to input that code to get your bonus 50 points. Once that's done, hit Download Feature Points, and then click Install. It is trusted and verified, so it is safe, so don't worry about that. Once that's done installing, you'll be brought to this page on Feature Points. It'll walk you through the steps. It's very easy. You just have to download an app and then earn points and then get rewarded with paid apps for free, gift cards, and PayPal cash. It's this simple. Click there to earn 20 points. It'll bring you to the app store where you download this application, open it up, just run it for a few seconds. You don't even need to keep it. And then you'll be rewarded with the points. All right, let's do that really quickly. So as you can see, we just downloaded and opened the app for just a couple seconds, and we're already back in feature points with now 70 points right off the bat in just a couple of seconds. Now, a really important thing to do is go down here to the share icon and then click 
add to home screen because this is going to give you the official feature points app so just click add like that and that way right on your home screen you'll be able to access feature points very easily right in the app form so it's basically just a quick link to the website but it's very easy to access now as you can see let's take a look at some of the amazing rewards that you can get you can get paypal cash itunes gift cards and you can even get paid apps completely free now as you can see those are only 594 points we're already almost there now let's take a look at some of these great apps we can download as you can see 108 points 148 points there are a lot of points that you can get and look at all of these amazing applications you can download them all and get itunes gift cards very quickly so go to bit.ly slash get feature points to get started today this will support our show, but it'll also help you earn free gift cards. It's a win-win scenario. All right, let's get back to the hidden features of iOS 9. Have you ever been in an important business meeting or in class and this happens? Siri gets turned on and then you accidentally say something? Call me. As you can see, Siri responds even when the ringer is off and the volume is supposed to be muted. There's an easy fix to that problem in iOS 9. Go to Settings, General, Siri, Voice Feedback, and choose Control with Ring Switch. As you can see, now if you accidentally hit Siri, Hello? Siri no longer speaks out loud when the volume is turned off. For the seventh hidden feature, I'm actually going to show you multiple features all in one that have to do with the Photos app. Now you can even more quickly select a lot of photos all at once. Click Select, choose one photo, and then after that, all you have to do is swipe over the other photos you want to select to quickly select them. No more painstakingly tapping every single one. Additionally, if you want to hide a photo, you can go up and then choose hide, as you can see. So the share icon and then choose hide. What that's going to do is it's going to hide it from your album, but still keep it in the camera roll. Additionally, you can quickly exit out of photos just by swiping down like that. That makes it a lot easier than quick clicking the standard back button. You can also zoom in and out of videos that are on your iPhone right when they're playing. The next hidden feature allows you to find all the best restaurants and places to go in any given location. So if you type in a location, you can just click on food and then choose what type of restaurant you want to go to. And it'll give you popular destinations along with ratings and Yelp reviews. The ninth hidden feature is really needed. It's something that we needed a lot, and that's with the settings, you can now search. Now, now this isn't very hidden, but it's something you might easily overlook and something that wasn't there before. All right, and this is the ability to search the settings for anything that you want to do and see easy to access icons, so such as Siri or even the, the Siri voice. You can quickly change and customize everything uh, just by searching it in settings. Now, as I said, it, it is not necessarily hidden from view, but it's something that you can easily overlook if you're trying to scroll around and, and find the best way to get everywhere. You can even use some of the hidden features that we mentioned in this video by searching them in the little settings section. The tenth and final hidden feature is the ability to customize the reader in Safari. So if you're reading an article and you don't want to have to see all of the clutter, what you can do is just go to the reader version of the article. Now I'm on New York Times, which is a great place to get your news, by the way. I highly recommend it. But if you wanted to get rid of all the distractions, what you could do is just click that button up there, which gives you a reader view of the article with just the text. Now in the past, this did exist, but that's all it was. Now you have the ability to change the text size like that. You can even change the background color if you want black background with white text or if you want a tan background with black text. You can also change the font to whatever suits you. It's definitely amazing and a lot more customizable to quickly read your content. 
Thank you for watching my top 10 iOS 9 hidden features video. Hopefully I was able to show you something new today that you can use to maximize your iPhone capabilities. Now be sure to let me know what your favorite iOS 9 hidden features are in the comment section below, and especially if there's hidden features we didn't cover in this video. Be sure to hit that like button if you learned something new today, and consider sharing this video with your friends so they can learn something new about their phones as well. Also be sure to check out some of our other videos like how to save battery life in iOS 9. I think you'll find it comes in a lot of handy. Link in the annotation and down in the description. Also be sure to subscribe for all the best iPhone 6s and iPhone 6s Plus videos along with more iOS 9 videos. And if you haven't already, be sure to go to bit.ly bit.ly slash get feature points to start earning iTunes gift cards and paid apps for free. Once again, I'm Alex Mapline, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.